In this problem, we are going to work out the tangent of 2 times cosine inverse of 1 fourth. Before we do this problem, um, let me show you an identity that we're going to use. So recall if you have the tangent of 2 times x, this is equal to 2 times the tangent of x, all divided by 1 minus tangent squared of x. So here our x is going to be this piece here. I'm going to get a, give it a different name though. I'm going to call it theta since it's really an angle. So theta is going to be cosine inverse of 1 fourth. And since I wrote the identity down, let's go ahead and apply it. So this is really tangent of 2 theta. Already it's better. <laughs> <laughs> and this is equal to 2 tangent of theta over, and then on the bottom we have 1 minus tangent squared of theta. So now we just need to figure out uh, what this is. So to do that, we're going to come back over here and uh, use this to draw a triangle for theta, and then we'll be able to finish the problem over here. So to draw a triangle for theta, we need to get rid of this cosine inverse. To do that, we can just use the definition of the inverse function. So the cosine inverse takes 1 fourth and it gives you theta. So the cosine function should undo that. It's, it, the cosine is the inverse of the inverse. So the cosine takes theta and sends it back to 1 fourth. And now we can use so katoa. So so ka toa. And that means that cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So it's going to be A over H. So using this, we can draw a beautiful triangle. So here's our triangle. Here's our theta. And so the adjacent side is this one down here, so 1. The hypotenuse is this one. It's the one that's opposite of the 90 degree angle. And we're looking for uh, this one here, so I'm going to call it B. So then we can use the theorem of Pythagoras that says the hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the other sides squared. So 16 is equal to b squared plus 1. So that means that b squared is equal to 15 because you can subtract 1. Taking the square root, we get plus or minus the square root of 15. So here b is the square root of 15. So I'm going to come back over here and fill it in, square root of 50. Now we should be able to finish our problem. Let's do it right away. So this is 2 times the tangent of theta. But tangent is opposite over adjacent, toa. So the opposite angle is the square root of 15, and the adjacent is 1. So it'll be the square root of 15 over 1, divided by 1 minus, and then here it's the same thing, except it's tangent squared, so it's opposite over adjacent. So it'll be the square root of 15 over 1, and the whole thing is squared. So this is equal to 2 times the square root of 15. Then on the bottom we get 1 minus, when you square the square root of 15, you just get 15. So this is equal to 2 square root of 15 then 1 minus 15 is negative 14, beautiful stuff. And this is equal to, I'm going to come over here, I'm running out of room. <laughs> uh, I guess it's going to be 7 on the bottom. So it'll be negative square root of 15, all divided by the number 7. And that should be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.